Okay, hope I'm doing this with the uh, with the sound okay because I gotta have the AC going because it's damn near fucking hundred degrees and I'm in the car. Um, okay. I saw something with the twins now that really set me off and got me mad. And hey, let's do a rant. Um, they put out the pitching rotation. But they also pitch a rotation for the series coming up this weekend against uh, the Astros. And, you know, Saturday, Barrios, okay. Sunday, Pineda, okay. But Friday, Matt fucking Shoemaker. They're still going to put Matt Shoemaker out there on purpose. What the fuck? Matt Shoemaker, who was last seen getting one out in the first inning and giving up nine runs. Nine runs against the mighty Kansas City Royals. This is on top of, of course, almost two months before that of barely passable starts. You know, maybe he'll go maybe he'll go five innings, maybe even six once in a while, but he'll always end up giving up, you know, four or five runs. Never, never a good start. Like, barely, you know, barely passable at best. But he's gonna stay in the fucking rotation. At least for one more round. I don't fucking understand it. I don't know what, I don't, I don't understand what the thought process is of, of continuing this, this ridiculous Matthew Maker experiment, which has fucking failed and is going to continue to fail. Um, he was signed for a year for $2 million because, hey, you got to fill out your rotation with somebody. And you're like, okay, well, we'll take our chances that he can be like the, you know, a reclamation project for, for a year. Maybe he can be a decent fifth starter, help us contend. No, none of this has happened. None of this is going to happen because your season is fucking one of the biggest flops in the history of the franchise. And he's one of the reasons for this. You know, he ain't the number one reason. He might not even he might not even scratch the top ten of why your season is in the fucking toilet. You know, barely into June. Um But he is a reason. And he and he's maybe one of the easiest to correct problems that you have right now. But they won't do it, and I don't. I don't get it. Um, we saw. We've seen a couple starts now, and one of them was. Uh, I forget what day now. It was over the weekend. Uh, Bailey over. You know, what is he going to be? Something I don't know. He looked okay in his last start. He looked. He looked like he could at least. You know, he, like there's some potential there to mine. You know, there's something to work with there. And they just called up. The other day, they called up Griffin Jacks. I thought they were. I thought for sure. Okay, they're going to call him up to, uh, you know, probably take over for Shoemaker in their rotation. No, they brought him up just to stick him in the bullpen, and all they've done so far is put him in a, in a mop-up duty. And he hasn't looked good in mop-up duty, to be sure. But I'm not. I mean, look, he gave up a couple bombs to the Yankees. Like every twin looks like shit against the Yankees. That's you got to grade him on a different curve. Again, is he going to be anything? I don't know. But you know that Matt Shoemaker is worthless. He is worthless for what you were planning for this year to contend. He is worthless for your future because he was only signed to a one-year deal. And he's obviously not going to get another one-year deal, probably from anybody. He probably will pitch in the majors again for this season. What? I, I don't understand. What? Does he have, like... Does he have, like, revealing photos of somebody? Why are they doing this? Like, you're... You're, you're getting zero value of... With with continuing to put Matt Shoemaker into a game as a starter. Now, if you want to... Now, if it's, if it's just a thing where, you know... You wouldn't have to eat that much money because you're already a third of the way through the season. So you're gonna... You'd have to eat a million something. It ain't my money, so I... You know, but I mean, fuck up. Whole ads are billionaires; they don't care. Um, you know, 
So you'd have to, if you just flat out released him at this point, you would have to, you would have to eat some money. But it wouldn't be that much money, all things considered. Like, okay, you got to eat, you got to eat a million and change. I mean, fuck, they, they're throwing away money on other guys. <laughs> they're throwing away, what did they pay Josh Donaldson? By the way, nice job, uh, Josh Donaldson. Well, you really showed Garrett Cole. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was that was that was that was a humbling thing to see. Josh Donaldson calling out Garrett Cole for for cheating, which he probably does cheat. I mean, fuck, he's a Yankee; he's allowed to cheat by the laws of the game. And then he goes out there and just gets just gets shut down completely by Cole. But uh, back to Schumacher. Um, He's giving you zero value. There's nothing to be gained from him. He's not. He's not going to. Like your best case scenario is maybe he'll he can go five innings and give up four runs or something, and maybe you score enough runs to overcome it in a game that isn't going to help. That's really not going to help you in the long run because your season is already over. So he's giving you no value, no meaningful value in the present. He's not a part of your future. And, in fact, he's hurting your future. It's hurting your future to put him out there because you're taking away potential tryout starts and tryout innings from a Bailey Ober, a Griffin Jacks, maybe somebody else, you know, whoever else whoever else would be the next in line at AAA to come up. You know, it, it's, it does you no, no, it does you no good. And the other part of this is for next year, the Twins, at, at the moment, the only guys they've got, you know, for the rotation under contract, are Barrios, and he's been talked about in trade talks. Like this could be the off season where you either have to extend him or trade him. So it's not even 100 percent that he's going to be here next year. Uh, Kenta Maeda, he's been hurt, but he's you know he's on the way back. And Dobnak, I mean, that's a whole other issue. Like I don't, you know, Dobnak is not a guy who. You if they're if they're given thirty starts next year to Randy Dobnak, they're fucked anyway. But you know, that's that's all you got right now. Pineda's a free agent, Hap's a free agent, and Shoemaker will, would be a free agent as well. So unless they're going to go pay some guys, which they don't do, they're going to have at least two spots in that rotation. Unless they're going to try the fucking you know one year washed up veteran reclamation thing again but that hasn't really worked like like Pineda was not that Pineda was a legit starter that they signed and they were able to get him because um, he was coming off an injury in the first in the first, uh, in the first case so you know, and that was a good signing and you know but the other guys they've signed you know Lance Lynn was a flop Rich Hill was eh. Rich Hill was okay although he's pitched pretty good this year for uh, Tampa Bay they just let him go. I don't think they made made an effort to re-sign him. Hap's, Hap's basically a flop. Shoemaker is is an ultra flop. You know, are they going to go and just try to do this again next year and just grab a couple of like thirty-five year old pitchers off the scrap heap and think and delude themselves into thinking that they're going to automatically turn these guys into you know their old selves? I just. If that's if that's their goal, okay, I guess whatever. <laughs> but you know, if they're not going to do that, you know, get some of these young guys out there. Like, if this team is going to be any good in the next for the next like five years, they're going to have to do something with pitching as, as far as developing guys. And again, maybe Ober, maybe Jax, maybe whoever else. Maybe none of them are going to be any good, but I'd rather at least find that out now. Like if, because if you, let's say you give, you know, pick one, or maybe end up with both, both of these guys, you know, give them, you know, give them a half a season here to, to show what they can do. Maybe they can't do anything. Maybe they're no better than Randy Dobnik. Well, okay, at least you know then. But what if they're, what if they are good? What if they actually show that they can? That they could be part of a rotation next year, you know, good pitchers on a rotation, good young pitchers. Well, then, hey, that's great. Like that, you know, that might that that right there gives you some optimism for next year. That right now I don't fucking have as regards to this franchise. I don't have much optimism for 2022. 
Um, but I might if, if you, you know, say you go into next year with Barrios, Maeda, you know, maybe you, maybe you re-sign Pineda, and then maybe you have, like, a couple young guys who you actually know with some, have some, have some evidence that they can pitch. Like, okay, that's something to work with. There you go. Like, but you're not going to get, you're not going to find any of this out if they continue to give Matt fucking Shoemaker starts. I mean, if they're sit, if they're still sitting here, you know, that, you know, after the All-Star break, and Matt Shoemaker is still getting starts, fuck the Twins. I mean, honestly, God, what are you doing? The season is over. They're, they're, they're not going to contend. They're, what, 13 out, I think, I think 11 out of the wild card. They're not going to contend. They're not going to get back in this. It's not going to happen. But you don't, it, and they've got like 100 games left. But those 100 games don't have to be a complete waste of time. They could be useful beyond this year. But they're not going to be useful, like, like with the hitting, the, the, the lineup. You know, and injuries have forced their hand, but they're getting a lot of at bats for Alex Kirilov, Trevor Larnack, Ryan Jeffers, Nick Gordon. Like, guys who could actually be something for their future are getting experience now, and that's going to help them. But they don't, it's like they don't want to do the same thing for pitchers. And I don't understand it because, you know, they're going to go into next year with a surplus of of hitters possibly, barring some some trades. They're not going to go into next year with a surplus of pitchers. <laughs> At least not right now. So they need to do something because uh, Matt Shoemaker, as the saying goes, uh, he ain't it, pal.